Yo guys, it's Tanvir again. Today, I'll be explaining the use of null objects and graph curves for smooth movements. This is part two of my beginner to advanced editing series. If you haven't watched part one yet, I'll link it in the description. So yeah, let's hop into the video. The use of null is to move multiple layers as using just one layer, as you can see here. Nulls also help in creating smooth movements, like seamless zoom-ins, zoom-outs, and left-right transitions. If you master the use of nulls, you'll become an unstoppable movement master in a light motion. Now, let's talk about graphs and how these two control points work. The top graph controls position, scale, rotation, and other transformations over time. It directly affects how a layer moves. A steep curve means a fast change, while a flat line means no movement at all. Mastering this is key to getting smooth transition. And now, the use of bottom one. So basically, the use of bottom one is for controlling the speed of movement. A sharper curve means a faster change, while a smoother one slows it down. So these are the use of both point. I hope you understand about these. So, as you can see, I've given you example of these two points. Now let's learn how to make smooth transitions using null. If you don't understand anything, so let me know in the comment section, I'll help you. So you watch the video carefully. Guys, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any videos of this series. And I'll teach you everything that other pro editors do for their edits. And I'll teach you the things that any beginner have to know. We'll grind slowly, slowly to advanced.
All right, guys, that's it for today. If you learned something new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future tutorials. I'll be sharing pro level techniques that most editors don't talk about. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.